Hello, and welcome to the VPOP PC EX Software Explanation video series. This video will cover the more advanced CSV database connection methods and various different functions that you can use once you've connected to a database. This is, of course, using our BPOP PC EX software. As you can see, you, this is a helmet label that we have added new sets of data to compared to our previous explanation. Here you can see that we've added a symbol from our color symbol database as well as a QR code. So what we're going to do now is take this helmet label and connect all of this data to a database. To do this, you're going to start with a spreadsheet and then you're going to add these fields and vehicle type and QR code information. To add the vehicle type, we recommend starting from your desktop icon for BPOP PC EX and opening a file location. After you open the file location, you will be brought to the color symbol file and down here 24 construction vehicles. You're going to need to put the file pathway into the vehicle types column on your spreadsheet. So first you're going to copy and paste this pathway into your spreadsheet. This pathway is going to be the same for all of your labels, so feel free and copy and paste it down the length of the whole column. The thing that's going to change is the name of the symbol that you are importing into your CSV database connection. It's often it's important to ch choose the correct symbol name. So I recommend copying and pasting the symbol name exactly. into your spreadsheet. To save time for this explanation, I'm only going to include a few symbols. But it can be done with any of the symbols in our software. Next, we're going to add a QR code. To add a QR code, you can put in any information, but what I would recommend for a label like this is putting in the same information that's written here as its own separate barcode. To do this, we use a special function called concatenate. Select each box and hit enter and all of the information that has been recorded here will show up in a QR code. This is useful in an emergency situation where you want to scan people's information quickly. Alright, now that we've set up our spreadsheet, what we want to do is save it as a CSV file so that we can import it into the software. We're going to save it as explanation for video explanation for video 2 under CSV file.
After you save it, you're going to get an error message that will ask you if you want to keep using this file format. The answer is yes. Yes, you do. So now we're going to close out of this Excel spreadsheet. And we don't need to save it again, as we've already saved it. And we're going to connect that spreadsheet to our EPOP PC EX layout. So now that we've connected it, what we're going to do is reformat the label using the same process that we used in the previous video to copy and paste in text. After doing the text, we're going to add in our new symbol information. And then finally, our QR code. One of the new features in the BPOP PCEX software is the ability to center objects inside a cell. So you can select the cell and select the object and center it exactly. This is a quick and easy way to format the information that you will be using. After we've done this, we're going to want to go through and set the text box to, to align to center. And then we can also use batch settings, batch properties, to change the properties of all of the text boxes at once so that they're all now in bold lettering. So as you can see, all the fields have been connected to the database and change as you scroll through your database. Now that we have finished formatting our label, what we're going to do is print it out. But instead of doing the normal printing out of an entire database, we're only going to print out selected labels. To do this, we remove the pound sign from the print column. And this will keep us from printing those removed labels. After you've decided not to print a label, it's possible to change and edit the information in the CSV file right inside the BPOP PC EX layout. Okay, so just like before, same process, we're going to pick everything, come up here to the 1-2 number icon, click on CSV database autocopy, but instead we're going to autocopy selected rows only. And hit OK. As you can see, we've selected six labels to be printed, and only six labels have appeared on the layout.
Okay, that's it for the advanced edition of the CSV database connection explanation video. Uh, we'd like to thank you for using our BPOP system and encourage you to please take a look at some of the other videos. Thanks and have a good day.